Our next speaker, Tony Jupiter, doesn't need really very much uh, introduction at all. He's a campaigner, a writer, advisor, commentator, one of the UK's best known environmentalists. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Juniper. Thanks, Tony. There's thousands more people arriving here. Should we give them a big round of applause for getting through all that traffic and police barriers? Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've reached the most incredible point in human history. A lot of problems that we've known about for a long time suddenly are all stacking up. The G20 governments have been talking about sustainable development for more than 20 years. Many of them have had it as an official policy goal, but they haven't done it. Instead, they've been promoting short-term economic growth based upon the destruction of this planet's life support systems. Tomorrow has always been the point when we would do sustainable development. Tomorrow has now arrived. This is the moment for change. The financial system that we've invested in for the last several decades has brought us, brought us to the brink of disaster. We've loaded the planet's atmosphere with greenhouse gases to a dangerous level. We've depleted natural resources and degraded ecosystems at the same time as deepening inequalities at the same time as perpetuating poverty. The system hasn't worked and even in its own narrow financial terms has come crashing down. We cannot allow the G20 to put the old 20th century economic system back on life support. We need to give birth to a new system, one that is not based upon consumerism, not based upon liberalization, not based upon ever more fierce and futile global competition, but a system that is based on cooperation. Because what we do want is an incredible positive vision to be brought forward by political leaders. What we want is policies and money for a massive program of global renewable power expansion. Yes. What we want is policies and money for sustainable transport infrastructure. Yes. What we want is policies and money for truly, truly sustainable agriculture. Yes. What we want are policies and money to help the countries of the South protect the rainforest by ending poverty. Yes. What we want are policies and money to convert the world's buildings to livable and efficient properties that can navigate resource crunches as well as ending fuel poverty and creating lots of social benefits into the bargain. What we want, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we want the hundreds of millions of jobs that can come with all of that. What we want to end is the global suicide mission, the pact of mutual self-destruction that we've embarked upon, and to seize the moment for a new economy. Now, I want to just repeat the words of Mahatma Gandhi, who I think got this right in the 1930s. He said, the difference between what you and I can do and what we are capable of will suffice to end the world's problems if only we can rise to what we're capable of. Now, I got that wrong. <laughs> Gandhi got it right, however. Basically closing the gap between our capabilities and what we actually do. And that is the leadership job that the G20 must do this week in London. They have to rise up and lead and take responsibility for a crisis that cannot be solved by the policies of the past. But be under no illusion about this meeting in London next week. It will not be the end. At best, it will be a beginning. Look at this incredible gathering of people here, of organisations. This has to be the start of a movement. This is not one rally. This is the beginning of durable, big change. We have to go from here, build political momentum, and hold the people to account who've taken the world to the brink of disaster. Later this year in Copenhagen will be possibly the most important meeting in the history of humankind. We have to mobilise and build. Between now and then, this is our last chance, potentially, to save humanity. So get active, get organised, get involved. Let's make sure that this is the last chance and we take it. Let's not leave it to chance, but do the job that has to be done. Thank you so much.